You've got a couple of biotech holdings too, Celgene and Gilead. Yes. Um, I would assume you feel the same about them. A lot of times biotech can be a bit of momentum, fast moving stocks. Those two have a little bit more staying power though. Well, it certainly was a hot sector last year. I mean, I think with biotechs, we tend to invest not in the R&D firms with no revenue and not in the big cap pharma where the growth prospects may be more limited. We go for those single or, or few therapy companies that have high margins and not a lot of um, competition. And so a Celgene, a, a Gilead, um, even an Amgen to a certain degree are companies like that. And uh, we like them as long-term holdings, aging population, the need for single therapy medications. Um, and, uh, and so we long-term, we think it's a good space. Now, from a valuation standpoint, again, do they get ahead of themselves? Are they reasonably priced? Uh, a lot of that depends on where earnings go from here. You have a couple of energy names too. What's going on in energy that you like? Narrow down for me the energy story because there's a lot of different ways to play it. There is. And I mean, you know, we view the U.S. energy uh, industry as a growth industry. And I, you know, five or 10 years, you probably couldn't have said that. And within that, you have exploration, you have refining, um, and then you have firms that are playing internationally. I mean, there's a lot of drilling and exploration going on in the United States, which is relatively a, a new phenomenon. Um, but you still have a lot of geographic diversification around the world, especially by some of the bigger players. And so in order to properly be in that space, you want to have some diversification. But we like it long term. We think demand for energy is going up around the world. Um, we do believe in global economic growth. It may be hiccuping, but there's going to be energy needs. And we see the U.S. as a significant growth story within that broader story. And, and it's, a, it's evolving in a sense that I think it took a lot of us by surprise, but it's real. And, and we expect it to be there for a while. So I think for a longer term investor, it's not a bad industry sector to be in.